And we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to use the range function to create a logo in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure of you that your smart guides and snap to point is activated. We will use the type tool. It's going to be a black fill. Let me just type in company. I use Eggman variable concept, the bold style. And then I size it up holding shift and alt with the selection tool, press V for that. I hold ALT and I can copy out of it, then I press T and I replace COMPANY with an all cap logo. So it has the same size as COMPANY. Let me put it here for now and we will use the rectangle tool now. I put it on top of the logo and then I change the color. Let me use yellow. One of these two should be fine, it creates this marked effect that you can see in many popular logos. But you can see the rectangle is on top of the text. We want to place the text on top of the rectangle. So the way to do this is to select the logo, right click, arrange and then bring it to front. And now it's on top of the rectangle. Select them both and then click on the rectangle. Afterwards, open your align menu, you will find that under window align. And we've got a line to key object selected, which is this rectangle, as we have clicked on it and highlighted it thus as the key object. Then we'll align it, but it's not aligned perfectly. First, we need to create outlines. And you can now see what happens if I zoom in. I select it again. Let me show you this with the arrow keys. We could do it like this, but we can also select it. Create a key object and then use the align menu again. And this time it's positioned in the center. So always try to create outlines of your text when you align it. We place it right here on top of the company. I'll press Ctrl R to blend in rulers and I drag guidelines out of there. Alright, now I use the arrow keys to bring down the rectangle and the logo part. Always try to find such lines to align your text and your elements of a logo properly. Let me create an ellipse, I hold shift, so I have a circle and I give it a blue color. I'll activate the type to again, type in use A. I'll make that white and put it on top of the circle. Let me size that up holding shift and alt. I'll create outlines of the USA, right click, create outlines, then I select them both. Put it to the center. And then I drag it away. Let us look for good position. I need another guideline. I drag from top to bottom. And now I hold shift, sizing the circle and it takes down, maybe up to here or maybe I'll make it even smaller. I think that looks good. You can now try different positions. Maybe I put that a little bit more downwards. Let me see how that looks. I'll right click and group the circle and use A. I think that would be too big. So let me press Ctrl Z. But I use the arrow keys to bring it a little bit to the right side. And that's it. This is how you can use the range and the align menu to create such a logo in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.